All right, guys. Reefer NYC here, back with another update. We have the tank moved in place, moved over the water cube, water box cube 20 to the left, and now we have the frag 55 on the right. So basically, it's going to be set up next to my computer. <coughs> Excuse the mess, but that's what it is. That's what happens when uh, you have new stuff coming in. Um, but yeah, just wanted to show you a quick idea of my working area uh just trying to think of new scapes so like what i want to do for the tank basically bought about 100 pounds of marco rock uh and yeah testing out how to aquascape or well, dry aquascape with just using acrylic rods uh, i haven't done this in the past and actually i was just testing around just like messing around with the the drill uh, i had some drill bits laying around um but yeah it was super easy Basically, I got these rods off of eBay, like a, it was like a six pack or 12 pack for like super cheap, or maybe like five bucks or so, five or 10 bucks. Um, but yeah, basically have a drill, have a masonry bit, uh, and it cuts through super easy. Um, just make sure you have the correct bit, because I was messing around with these other bits, these like these general, these general bits that they come with in these kits. But what you want to do is get these masonry bits, which have these special tips to them there you go they just cut the the marco rock like butter um but yeah super easy uh, basically using the acrylic rods for stability i can like stack rocks on top of them just make sure you drill the holes in them so what you do let me just pull this straight out so this rock is actually drilled into the rock on the bottom see without this it just topples over but once I have it back in that hole underneath of this rock, it's super stable now. This should, that is not moving around too much. Actually, it's not in all the way, but it shouldn't move around too much. Gives it a little bit of extra more stability. I can drill more holes to make it even more stable. Drill them in angles, drill them in different ways to just get this like crazy shapes. But otherwise, just yeah, I wanted to show you real quick how it works. Make sure you have it in the right direction. Pretty general drill. I ran out of battery on this, so super easy. It's a, I believe that's a half inch drill bit uh, for these acrylic rods. So it drills them perfectly straight in, and then you just put the rod, the acrylic rod straight into that hole. What else can I tell you? But yeah, I wanted to do something different. Got a bunch of these shelf rock. Was trying to go with a floating scape. But then I asked people on Instagram what they wanted to see, floating or bonsai. A lot of people wanted to see a bonsai scape. So trying to figure out how that's gonna look for the new tank. Um, basically this dimensions of this card box is like 24 by 24. So this is a perfect section where I can just like pretty much lay it out and see how it looks like. Hopefully if I drill more acrylic rods into that, I don't have to use that as an anchor uh, or a base rock underneath that rock. Of course, my dog starts to bark. Hey, Rufus, you wanna, wanna chill out? Thanks. I'm trying to create a video here. <laughs> well, yeah, anyways. Messing around with the rocks. If you guys have any suggestions on what you'd like to see or what I should do or any tips and tricks on what you've done uh, during an aquascape, leave it in the comment section below. I'm sure a lot of people wanna know you know, easier ways to scape or just ideas in general of how to scape. But yeah, this is my first crack at, I guess the first draft of the Aquascape for the Frag 55, but I'm pretty sure it'll change over time. Once I start adding corals and all that kind of stuff, because some of the corals have rocks attached to them, so it's gonna be different um, no matter what, unless I start taking them off the rock and placing them on this rock. Um, but also when you're transferring tanks, in, in my case, you have to consider the rocks that are also existing in the current tank. So whenever you're scaping with dry rock and also putting it into an established reef, think about the rocks that you wanna keep from the older tank that'll be placed within this scape. Um, obviously for me, I wanna do a more minimalistic bonsai kind of theme. That never works out for me because I always end up stacking up these rocks, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully I can stick to the, the game plan here. Um, but yeah, thanks guys for watching. Leave a comment, like, comment, subscribe. Have any questions, as always, leave it in the comment section. We've got a super helpful community that will answer any question below. Um, 
But yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Peace.